Okay, let's talk about back muscles. So it's probably one of the more difficult muscle groups to work um, at home if you don't have the equipment. At the gym, we use uh, the cables a lot and the TRX, those kind of things are great for the back. But with this workout is primarily dumbbells or your own body weight. So I'll show you a few little tricks here to, to work the back muscles. So we're gonna start with, uh, just grab a chair. I'm assuming most people don't have a, a workout bench at home. So a good old sturdy chair will do just fine. So hold the dumbbell in your right hand, put your other hand on the chair and put your left foot forward. Get into a kind of a split stance. And we're gonna just bend forward, keeping that hand on the chair, and just pull up like you're, like you're lifting a suitcase. Again, we don't wanna turn the whole body, just the arm is moving. Pull straight up. Keep the back straight. Good. And then of course you'll do the other side. Right leg forward, almost the opposite leg forward to the arm that you're working. So there's your left arm working. Good. Excellent. Okay, another great way to work the back muscles. Pick up both dumbbells and we're gonna bend forward like we did with our shoulder with that posterior, that rear delt fly. We're just gonna bend, push your backside out, bend forward and down, and then just pull up like that. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. That is key for this exercise. Watch your back. It's easy to uh, put too much strain in your back if you overdo it, so just start easy. Just pull back and squeeze. It's really important to squeeze those shoulder blades, shoulder blades together. Good. Um, so those exercises really work your lats, the latissimus dorsi, the big, big muscles on your back. This next one works the trapezius, which is a little bit higher up. And we do this, it's just a close grip pull up. So you just bring the dumbbells together and just pull up like that. Let those elbows come out to the side. And that's plenty high enough. You don't want to go way up like that. Just let those muscles lift. Feel the trapezius doing its job. Elevating the shoulders. Up we go. Good. Excellent. And we have two more exercises for the back. One will be, I'm just going to bring us down to here. Hey, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Everybody loves these exercises. The next one is the skydiver. So down we go. These are, will engage the lower back a little more. So when you're down like this, you're going to just bring yourself up like you're flying through the air. You just hold for a few seconds and down. Good. And the last one is our favorite the old plank, up like this. It's not this or sagging. You want to keep that nice and controlled. The plank is an excellent at-home exercise that you can do every day. You can start small, 30 seconds to a minute, and then try, challenge yourself, build that up a little more each day till you're doing about eight hours, eight, nine hours is the world record if you want to try for that. Seriously though, about, um, Try to build up to a two minute plank. It's a really good goal for most people. Once you get past two minutes, it gets really difficult, but try to build two minutes, maybe even three. But it, don't give up. It takes a while to, uh, to make progress with the plank length, extending that time that you stay in the plank position. Just make sure, pay, pay attention to what you're feeling when you do the plank. Some people feel it in the shoulders. Sometimes it's the lower back starts to get a little sore. Just pay attention to your body's cues. It'll tell you when you've had enough, okay? Good job.